On tap, Burger Classic Beer. Better beer with Burger now. Better beer. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we're talking about Burger Classic Beer from the Hudapol Shaneling Brewing Company. Even though it is billed as a Cincinnati tradition, it is actually canned by City Brewery in La Crosse, Wisconsin. The Burger family originally brewed Burger Classic in Cincinnati beginning in 1934, but strong regional and national competition caused the demise of the brand in recent years. Burger Classic was revived in May of 2009. This is an American adjunct lager with 4.62% ABV, 12 IBUs, and 150 calories per serving. It's available in Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. The suggested retail price is $5.99 per 12-pack. That's a steal. And it's intended to reach bargain shoppers and beer drinkers excited about a revival of a Cincinnati tradition. Burger Classic feels like it should be consumed straight from the can. However, if you're feeling a little uppity, then it is recommended that you drink it from a Pilsner glass or pint glass. A pint glass is a very common vessel for consuming beer. An American pint is 16 ounces and is sometimes called a shaker. This nickname comes from the fact that these glasses were originally used for mixing drinks. They were never designed for drinking beer out of. Most bars like them because they are cheap to produce and easy to stack and clean. Scott, does Burger Classic continue a long, proud tradition, or does this revival strike out? I would have to say it all has to do with one thing, marketing. If burgers their first beer they taste and they know no different, they've They've won out. They've done a good job. Otherwise, I think they're going to have a tough choice. Uh, they're either going to have to uh, close shop or uh, maybe change their uh, recipe because. So you're not liking the beer? I'm not thinking Burger Classic is so classic. I'm thinking uh, one of the only ways I would drink this beer is in the can and cold and smooth at a. Maybe Describe the flavor to me. The flavor, honestly, is very multi grainy. Uh, it's almost like you've, gr- you've ground up corn. And mixed it with rubbing alcohol, and then you drank it. It's just, it's not pleasing to me. It has an overall unique flavor, so I can't, I guess, it, it is a beer that I can see people drinking and liking. My father, again, would like this beer. He liked uh, kind of unique beers. He's a connoisseur of certain beers, and this is one that I think he would he would choose to drink. Joby, expand on Scott's answer here. Well, at where he was going with with his father would drink it, it's, it's a working man's beer. Um, you drink it out of the can, you drink it when you get home from work, five, six o'clock, maybe even four o'clock in Scott's case because he doesn't even work very hard. But he would drink it because he likes old-style beer. I'm not going to lie, Joey. I don't like old-style beer unless I'm at a Cubs game and I'm drinking it out of a cold, hard can because it's only in the can. But burger, mm, not so much. Adam, what occasion would you see drinking this at? Well, I'd drink this at any time I was down in Cincinnati watching the Bengals or the Reds after a disappointing loss. Ooh, watch glad. yourself. Yeah. Can you describe the flavor to me? Yeah, I can try describe the flavor. I mean, there's really not, not too much flavor other than that skunkiness. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, just a nasty bitterness to it at the end of it. Now, uh, when you say skunkiness, do you mean... I mean, I'm just curious to see what you think because skunkiness to me is usually a beer that's gone bad. I mean, I think this beer is what it's meant to be but it seems to be just grainy to me which yeah that i think is what you're kind of correct that's on. that's that's what i'm really going with is that 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 grainy it's uh it, it just has it leaves a, a bad taste in your mouth scott is there any multi-hoppy goodness in this thing for me no but again this just isn't my type of beer that i like so i'm not saying that it's a beer that's been I guess brewed incorrectly, so to say. It's it's just a beer I don't like, and I don't enjoy the flavor of it. I don't like a grainy, grainy beer. So this isn't a beer that I'd necessarily pick to drink again. Uh, it, it's one I'd actually probably choose last on my list. So I'd probably have to give this a rating of a, a four at most. Joey, what do you think of his rating? Um, Scott's rating fits him. He's more of a higher class beer drinker, if you will. He doesn't appreciate the good quality classic beers like what what kind of qualities burger classic this one is a working man's beer like i said earlier you drink it out of the can you don't have to pour it in a glass like these two do it's meant to be drank out of a can and that's what you do you crack a can open and you drink it i mean to me a burger classic symbolizes the west side of cincinnati 
I would put this just out of the top five of the best things out of West Side Cincinnati. Right behind Pete Rose, La Rosa's Pizza, Skyline Chili, Cornhole, Burger Classic. I'd give it a six. Adam, finish it up. I'm going to give this a five out of ten. I think overall, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a decent beer. Uh, but really, I think it, uh, in going along with these two guys, it's like getting from a or riding a moped. We all enjoy it while it's happening, but we don't want to admit to it. <laughs> all right. Well, without a numerical rating, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like this beer. That's why I'm glad to tag Burger Classic with a rating of five <laughs> on the BBA scale. Make sure and take the time to become a fan of the BBA on Facebook, where you can see exclusive behind-the-scenes photos of our set and leave us suggestions for beers you'd like to see in the future. You can find a link to our Facebook page at betterbeerauthority.com. Thanks to Libby Glass for supplying the glassware for the BBA. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.